What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a couple of brand new updates for Samsung Galaxy phones. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. I will go to the Galaxy store and uh, let's go to the update section here. As you can see, we have got a couple of brand new updates. One is for quick share connectivity and the other one is for good lock. Now we have already seen the brand new good lock version. I had installed the APK and I had shown you uh, everything that is available on the new version of good lock. And now officially new good lock is available on the Galaxy phones. This is the S24 Ultra I have got here and I think even on the S23 series you would have received this update. The brand new good lock application is now officially available. You can go ahead and update it. Now let me tap on good lock here. You can see the latest version is 3.0.10 and we've got refreshed UI design for a more intuitive experience, more detailed categories for better organization of good lock applications, view each app's update history directly within good lock, mark your favorite application for quick access, gather and reset all application settings in my page, add new widgets and quick launch features. All these new features are pretty cool and they are now available on the Galaxy S24 series, S23 series and a few other phones which supports good lock. If you haven't got this update yet, be patient, you will be getting it very very soon. Now let me go ahead and update this. It's installed, let me open it. Here you go, the new animation and the all new layout we have got with terrace, plugins and U section. We have discussed everything in detail. If you want to know more about this, you can go ahead and check the link in the description. All the new features of good lock we have discussed in that specific video. Now if I go to the terrace, we have got the latest notification here. It says good lock one UI seven update plan. When I tap on this, you can see there is something very important mentioned right here. And I would like to read this out for you guys if you do not have this notification on your Galaxy phone because this is quite interesting. There are some new features which are announced on the good lock application. First, it talks about the schedule of good lock in one UI seven. All 15 applications of good lock can be used even in one UI seven beta software and seven applications closely connected to the device platform like Lockstar, HomeUp, NAV Star, Notice Star, QuickStar, Multistar and Clockface start opening from late December starting with Multistar. However, since Home Up and Glockstar have uh, many new features and structural changes, they may take some time due to thorough internal testing. So we will have to wait for this. Now I have also discussed about brand new Home Up module. You can go ahead and check out the video in the description. And then it talks about the support for Google Play Store and global countries from One UI 7 GoodLock, you can download GoodLock not only from Galaxy Store, but also from Google Play Store and you can use GoodLock in all countries. This is something that many customers wanted and we expect that it will uh, provide easier accessibility to more Galaxy users. So this is coming guys, you are getting the GoodLock in your country very soon. Then we have got some important changes on One UI 7 GoodLock. This is how the GoodLock has changed. They have explained about the new features of GoodLock. Home up, we have already discussed all the brand new features. We have got Game Booster Plus. Game Booster Plus is a brand new module which will be introduced for your gaming enjoyment. Game Booster teams joins forces with good luck. Change game category. Games that weren't classified under the game category and thus didn't receive relevant support can now be manually categorized as games by users, allowing them to access device provided gaming related assistance. Then we have got Gamepad key remapping functionality. Remap keys on gamepads as preferred alternative ones. GPU settings. By reducing GPU load during a uh, Vulkan game screen rotations or adjusting the texture quality used in games accordingly, you can improve image quality and performance. So some brand new features coming up under Game Booster. Then we've got Lockstar, Wonderland, Multistar, Theme Park, Pentastic, Quickstar and Camera Assistant. All the new features have more or less arrived on these. So that is the brand new good luck for you guys. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second update that we have. This is also quite important. This is a quick share connectivity feature and the latest version is 1.5.08.5 and here in the change log it says provides quick and easy selection of receiving device by recommending the same accounts my device or frequently shared devices. Basically the device organization whenever you are sending the uh, files from your phone to another phone you will have better organization on the device list. That is what it says and then we've got support seamless file transmission via internet even while sharing files out of Wi-Fi range. Let me just briefly tell you what exactly this means. QuickShare uses Bluetooth and it creates peer-to-peer -peer Wi-Fi network to transfer the data which means it will need Bluetooth to establish the connection between uh, two devices and it is going to create its own Wi-Fi network between the devices to transfer the data seamlessly. And during this process, if the connection is lost due to any reason, maybe if the devices are too far to share, 
In that case, there are all chances that the connection will be lost. And then what happens is QuickShare will use the internet connection like your Wi-Fi to transfer the data without interrupting the connection. So even if your devices are far away, if it loses connection, a peer-to-peer -peer connection, then the Wi-Fi which is connected on both the devices will be used to transfer the data. So that is what it says. Next, we have got support sharing original gallery stories. We will be able to share the gallery stories now between the Galaxy phones or any other phones. Let me show you that. Let's go ahead and update this application now. And now what I'll do is I will go to the gallery and check out the stories here. I got a story here. Now let's say I want to share this story. I can just tap on share here. I can share story video or I can share story content. If you tap on share story content, you'll be able to share all the images and videos which are in this story or you'll be able to separately share the video itself. The entire story video will be shared and when you tap on share video, it will prepare the story for sharing. And once it's done, you will get this video right here and you will also have quick share option here to share that story. So we'll now be able to share the story right from the gallery on quick share. I think this feature might be available on some of the older devices as well. Let me know if you already have this feature or not. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, subscribe. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones and other Android phones and a lot more news related to technology. And yeah, if you haven't downloaded our uh, brand new wallpaper Wallverse yet, go ahead, download it. You will get to see some beautiful wallpaper collections on this application. It's a free application and it runs on ads. And if you want to uh, explore the collections here, you can go for premium. The premium is priced just about uh, 550 Indian rupees, somewhere around 8 to 10 US dollars. You also have monthly subscription options here. Go ahead and check it out. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.